My name's Daddy, and I do tutorials sometimes. Today, it's the turn for the Barbarian King and the Archer Queen. It's their special ability tutorial. We're going to go through each of the new features so that you can get the most out of them. Well, ladies first, let's talk about the Archer Queen. The Archer Queen's main new ability is her Cloak of Invisibility, which can be activated once per match by pressing the button. It just looks like the one seen on the left. Whilst this special ability is active, she cannot be damaged by defence buildings because they won't target her. But Traps and indirect splash damage still can affect her. During this period, she spawns between 3 and 10 archers, and they're going to act as decoys, diverting fire away from her. The higher your Arch Queen level, the longer the effect will last, and the more archers she will spawn. This upgrade's free, and it happens every 5 levels. It just appears, just like magic. So the ability stats can be found on the Hero Info screen, under the small blue button that has 3 dots, just down there on the right. So let's take a look. Let's see how she works. To activate the Queen's special ability, the Royal Cloak, once you've deployed the Queen, the button that shows the Queen changes into the Royal Cloak ability. Now that can be used only once, and the duration lasts between two and a half up to six seconds, depending on the level of the Queen, starting at level five. So we're gonna deploy her. We're gonna deploy her special ability. So you'll see the defenses are going to come off her. She's invisible, you see. Now the nice thing is the little archers there are diverting the, the queen. I've got the moonlight, I've got the sun, I've got the stars above. Me and my sweetie, well, we both share. Slappy go happy, happy go lucky love. Well, life is sweet, you yeah, sweet. Let's look at the Barbarian King. His new ability is his Iron Fist of Rage, and that can be activated once per match by pressing the button, which is just like the picture on the left. So whilst his special ability is active, he carries a mobile mini rage spell, which increases his damage and speed, and actually that of all barbarians in the area. He brings his boys with him to distract any enemy defences, it's a bit like a rugby team. Starting at level 5, and increasing for free every 5 levels, the Barbarian King, he spawns more barbarians, and it deals increasingly more damage. Use this ability wisely, because the effect does not multiply when it's combined with a rage spell. The ability stats, again, can be found from the hero info screen under the small blue button that has the little three dots. But enough about talking about it, let's see how he works. To activate the Barbarian King special abilities, once you've deployed him, his icon changes. That can be used, remember, only once. The duration always lasts 10 seconds but the, the little mobile uh, rage that he carries upgrades as, as uh, with, there we go. So remember the duration stays the same, but the power of the rage upgrades. Now, rage of course includes speed as well, right? Now, the Barbarian King himself he has a, a halo effect on other barbarians that are in the area. So once you've deployed him, all of the barbarians are going to have uh, effect, be affected by the same level of rage that the barbarian king has. Of course, that level is dependent on the level of your king. It starts at five and it increases every five levels. So the damage increases between by 20% and 50%, remember? So this time we're gonna deploy a couple of barbarians just to clear out the mines and traps. And deploy the barbarian, and we're going to activate his arm fist by pressing that button. And then all of the barbarians in that area are covered by rage. This could be devastating if you use barbarians, archers, and minions in your attack, for example. There we go. Good lads. Now, just for fun, we're going to use both together. So, 
Let's clear out some of the traps and mines. We're going to put in our Barbarian King, our Arch Queen, and we're going to put in a ton of those. Right, let's deploy both of them together. A devastating effect. There we go. Well, what I thought might be fun, um, really as an epilogue, is really see how these work in real life. We're attacking a real base. So we're going to go for, um, we're going to go for some loot, I think, today. Okay. So we've got a 199,000, it's a town hall eight. So let's lure the troops. I think it's just that one there. See if there's anything in the clan castle. Oh, Hog's in the clan castle. Excellent. Okay, let's lure them all over here. Okay, so those are going back down and out. As we're farming, we're going to be going for the for the loot, of course. So we might as well take out the town hall to make sure we get the win. Sorry to kill your Christmas present, but that will be a that dim, distant memory. So let's clear out the outline buildings. Let's deploy the uh, uh, Barbarian King. And she could be helped by the Barbarian King. There we go. So it's, it's quite an effective way of, of, of punching your way in, really. Uh, let's pop in a bit of jump just for fun. There we go, guys. Ah, uh, where else is the loot? There's a little bit of loot there. Uh, we're going to clear out the outline buildings. Now, I know those people amongst you who <laughs> like your dark elixir are probably going to be swearing at me now because I haven't gone for it. But uh, there you go. That wasn't too bad, was it? I think we're done there. My work, my work here is done. 186,000 gold. He's great, isn't he? I'm going to have so much fun with that barbarian king, queen. Um, look, thank you so much for watching. I'm really grateful. I really enjoy making these videos, and I really do enjoy it because of the nice people that leave comments for me. So I'd love to hear your strategies about how you are and how you are going to use these new hero abilities. Is there anything I missed? Anything you can do better next time, please drop them in the comments. I try and read, and I also try and reply as much as I possibly can. Thank you to my existing subscribers, and if you haven't subscribed yet, there's a little button on the top of the screen up there. Go on, you know, you can do it. It's not going to hurt. It doesn't cost anything. I try and put out videos regularly. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. Take care, and clash on. Bye for now.